Bountiful was a very safe spot. I grew up in that area and it was a great place to have a family. I had never stopped to think that something bad could happen to anyone that I knew. I was teaching dance, English. I was involved with all of the extracurricular activities. We were doing a musical production of The Redhead, and I was helping the kids in the dressing rooms. Then I would run out and take care of the ticket office, and just right inside of the front doors to the auditorium, I noticed a man standing over against what was the office at that time, out of place for Bountiful, um, very well dressed. He came out into the middle of the hall and he said, has anybody ever told you you have beautiful eyes? I remember he put his hand up and he said, I need somebody to come out and identify this car. Have you got just a second? His eye contact made me very uncomfortable and I had never been in the presence of anyone that made me feel that way before. And I said, if you need some help, I will go get some boys or some men to come and help you. And he said, no, 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 don't need that. And um, left. And when I got back to the dressing room, our vice principal was at the back of the stage. And I said, there's a guy standing out here something's a little bit fishy don't know what it is and he said i'll i'll check it out and see if he needs something i said i'd appreciate that and later when i was sitting in the auditorium and he came back in and when i saw this little girl get up and exit well all of a sudden he stood up and walked out i never put the two together The story I remember the most, and the one that, I hope I can keep my composure, is the mom, Delva Kent. She turned the porch light on that night and every night, hoping to bring her daughter back home. Those are the things that, that that's just one family. Think about all the other families he ripped apart. Nighttime at the Kent's home in Bountiful, his front porch light burns for Debbie. Mrs. Kent vowed when her daughter disappeared, I'll turn the light off only when Debbie comes home. Michael Ross of Newswatch 2, Bountiful. Because the situation with me ended the way it did that night, a little girl was murdered. And every day of my life for at least the next 20 years, I felt such guilt if I had just done it a little bit differently. Debbie Camp would still be here. I don't think he'd get over that. <laughs>